of phenomenal growth in India, according to a recent IDC study, if you look at it, cloud uh, market or the public services cloud market is growing to we're going to grow by around 13 billion by the year 2026. That puts the compounded annual growth rate at 23% for the next three years. Uh, I don't think uh, any other country is growing at this rate and that puts India as one of the fastest growing cloud market in the world. There are multiple factors contributing to this kind of a growth. Uh, number one, post pandemic, a lot of organizations resorted to kind of you know, either remote working or hybrid work environment. So organizations feel that it is easy for them to kind of have the services on the cloud and consume it across multiple locations or even for that matter, across multiple countries. Number two, they want simplicity in what they are doing today, by the way. You know, like they want to move away from complex deployment to simple configuration. What I mean by that is earlier, an on-premise deployment would take anywhere between six to eight months, but consuming from the cloud, the same thing can happen in even six weeks or even lesser, right? Apart from the fact that cloud brings in higher performance at a lower cost, the integration methodologies and the possibility of migrating smoothly is also kind of accelerating cloud growth in India, by the way. And beyond the usual benefits of pay as you go and scalability, today cloud is also kind of used to orchestrate experiences for consumers by integrating or even better kind of embedding on the business application in itself. So I think these are some of the kind of, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, factors that is kind of, you know, uh, helping cloud grow within the country. I mean, I don't think any application or for that matter, any technology in silo can deliver the required outcome or experience on its own. Uh, to talk about our industry, for example, uh, in the contact center space, an average contact center integrates with 18 different technology vendors, right? So some of the technologies that businesses are integrating today of number one, uh, journey management, it's becoming very important because, you know, uh, it, it actually kind of analyzes the customer journey across not only the digital touch points, but also even in the physical environment, which means you can orchestrate a journey on a digital environment. Number two, automation using AI is bringing in a huge operational efficiency, right? It, it uh, automates a lot of mundane jobs today. So today, more and more customers are looking at integrating automation to their cloud platform. Number three, you know, a uh, lot of things are happening around the predictive engagement in terms of understanding what the customer needs and then be able to deliver a personalized experience to them across multiple touch points. And finally, if you look at it, I mean, digital and consumer applications are even for that matter, things like WhatsApp and a lot of this messenger integration is providing a lot of benefits for the customer to use the channel of the, their choice, by the way, right? Now, this may sound uh, complex, but with so many app foundry partners enabling such technology integrations to any cloud, cloud platform, it is easy today to integrate multiple platforms on the go. factors that needs to be considered before selecting a cloud type but before that i think it's important to understand the various flavors that are available within the cloud type as well right for example organizations are today looking at various flavors of cloud you know based on the business needs for example it could be infrastructure as a service or it could be a platform as a service or it could be software as a service right but 
the factor that they need to consider would vary uh, depending upon kind of you know, the kind of flavor that they want to use. But there are a few things which are common across you know, multiple cloud types, right? For example, one, scalability. Organizations today want to kind of you know, have the same capability when it comes to kind of you know, using the cloud for 100 users or 100,000 users. Or even for instance, they may want to start with 100 users, but may want to go to a few thousand users in, in no time, right? So they are looking at scalability as one important factor when they kind of you know, looking at choosing a particular cloud type. Number two, with increase in the ransomware attacks, security is a major factor. I think there is no compromise on the security when it comes to choosing a cloud type, by the way, right? And uh, number three, uh, the reliability of the cloud platform in itself, whether it is availability, whether it is speed, or whether it is a performance of the platform, this plays a major kind of a role in designing the cloud type. And four, uh, today, every organization wants to be agile. That means they want the flexibility to move up and down based on the business requirement and based on the seasonality, by the way. Last but not the least, I think pricing model is also a major factor contributing to choosing the cloud type because today, you know, like, I mean, there are multiple pricing models, whether it is usage-based or whether it is user-based or it could be kind of, you know, like a fixed, you know, like pricing model. So this is also playing a key thing, right? So those are some of the four or five important factors that, you know, organizations are considering today when it comes to choosing a particular cloud type for their business needs. First of all, I would like to thank the uh, uh, government of India for quickly bringing in the right changes to the regulations as soon as the pandemic hit. Because of these changes, we have seen growth, or rather I would say unprecedented growth in the last couple of years compared to kind of what it was before, right? Um, to quote a few stuff, right? For example, uh, the Digital India campaign is expected to transform the country into a digitally empowered society. And, and cloud plays a major role in this. And uh, government also actively promotes the use of cloud services to accelerate digital transformation across multiple sectors. I mean, if I were to quote, for example, the smart cities or the various citizen services uh, the government has rolled out, right? So, I mean, that is going to transform the way kind of you know, cloud is being consumed in the country. And uh, Recently, uh, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, MIT, as we call it, came out with a cloud-first approach under which all departments are required to assess and adopt cloud computing for the current as well as new requirements. And to further enhance, right, I mean, to walk the talk, MIT also empaneled cloud services offering of private cloud services providers, which could be availed by government departments under this initiative. I think these are some of the great initiatives that government of India is doing to improving the cloud technology landscape in India. at least two or three major things that I could think of in terms of you know, evolution in the near future. Uh, number one is uh, organizations are going to kind of you know, strategize their uh, cloud deployment across public and private clouds, which means combining and making use of different cloud providers. By dispersing the resources over many settings, this will help organizations to adopt one, optimize the workload, Number two, give them the flexibility that they need. And number three, reduce the risk, by the way. So that's number one evolution. And number two, I could think of is, uh, as IoT devices and applications are increasing day by day, edge computing is going to become more and more important, by the way. So what happens in edge computing is the data is processed closer to the source, which reduces the latency and also gives the capability to kind of you know, do 
are real time decision making by the way right as a result most of the cloud providers are developing edge computing solutions and extending their network edge services and uh, the third thing i could think of is on the ai front i think ai is the buzzword today as artificial intelligence advances quickly organizations are increasingly storing and managing the data in the cloud the reason is one cloud based ai systems have the capability to learn and adopt and develop over time improving their ability to kind of handle data right number one and second reason is also as a result it is anticipated that in the upcoming years demand for cloud ai services will increase i think those are the three kind of you know evolutions that i foresee in the near future 